I am Anil Kumar and here is an application question on quadratic equations. An entertainment company is thinking of changing their ticket prices for the next year. They have developed a formula that describes how their overall profit per game P will change for the number of 50 cents increase to their ticket price. The formula is P equals to minus 50x squared plus 9500x plus 100,000. By how much should they increase to their ticket prices to maximize the profit? Right? You can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestion. Well, to maximize means we need to find the vertex. And best way to find the vertex is completing the squares, right? So we have minus 50x squared plus 9500x plus 100,000. Now, sometimes this question could be in objective type questions. In that case, uh, you know, the axis is always at minus b by 2a, right? So we expect answer to be minus of 9500 divided by 2 times minus 50, right? So which is which is 100. And so we expect answer of 95. So if it is objective type question, you get this answer very straight. Now we'll do completing the squares and see what do we get, right? But this is very important to note, especially from test point of view. So the whole idea of this playlist is uh, to prepare you for test in the best possible way, right? So that is an easy solution for multiple choice questions. Now here, let's practice how to do completing squares. We'll factor minus 50. You're left with x squared. This sign changes, right? And you have to divide 9500 by uh, 50. So when you divide that by 50, you get 190. So I'll write this as 190x and keep this 100,000 away for the time being, yes. And next step is that we have to do half of this, correct? So we have minus 50 x squared minus 190x plus half of 190. So we'll just divide this by 2 and get 95. See the use of calculator. We are simply, you know, keeping the previous value and using it over and over again. That is how you can save some time in the test also. Important thing to understand, right? So 50 and you know these three terms, they become perfect square and that step made it a perfect square, correct? We can write this as x minus 95 whole square and then we have minus 95 square. So we already have 95 here. Anyway, we can say answer square, right? So, or we can say 95 square, it doesn't matter. Equals to 90, 25. Okay, so minus 90, 25 is what we get here. Plus 100, 1000. Okay, now we'll open the brackets. We get minus 50, x minus 95, whole square, minus minus becomes plus. So we'll multiply 90, 25 by 50 now. 45, 1, 2, 5, 0. That is what we get, right? Now, it is positive. So don't worry about the sign. Do the sign yourself and don't depend on calculator for the sign, okay? 100,000. Now, you can add this up. So you get minus 50 x minus 95 whole square and uh, we will add 100,000 to the number we had right so we'll do plus 100 1 2 3 equals 2 right so we get uh, plus 55 1250 correct I know that was a easy addition but when you're using calculator you're just using it right so just use till the end you see be sure that you're getting absolutely right answer now, the question is, by how much should they increase to their ticket prices to maximize the profit? Now, we see x minus 95. To make it zero, to make it zero, x should be positive 95, right? So the vertex, you know, we can say vertex here is what? Vertex indicates the increase in price, 95, and the profit is this. 
5051250. We are not asking for profit. So anyway, our answer is increase by how much? Increase by dollars ninety five. That is the that is the solution, right? So what we see here is that the increase of ninety five dollars will maximize the profit. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.